Hi, this is Helen from Occult Projects. Continuing the theme of negative cards, let's talk about the devil. This is one of those cards that really seems to spook people. And it, so it's important to talk about because really we shouldn't be afraid of any of the tarot cards. They don't hold any power over us. They can't make us do anything. And tarot is a mirror of our lives. It's what we can use for self-reflection. Now, because of a lot of Western culture is influenced by and connected with Christianity, we're taught from a very young age to fear the devil. And I think that can be the root of why this card spooks so many people. But uh, really, this fear exists in our minds. And that's an important thing to remember with this card. It can be quite tricky to interpret. And I've found that a lot of people will come to quite different conclusions. I've seen some interpretations say that this card is about our shadow self and others that it is about our natural instincts. For me, I felt I could really understand this card when I took a step back from the themes of obsession, addiction, oppression and attachment and realized that what connects these is the power of the mind. Our minds can enslave us or they can set us free. And it's in a similar way, it's kind of like an anti-magician because we can see that the um, their hand positions are very similar but they're holding wands in opposite, opposite hands. So the power of the mind, does that take some of the, the fear out of this card? This card can appear when you need to confront your demons and in doing so, do you realize that yes, your mind has the power to enslave you, but you have a choice. You can make the decision to set yourself free. If you've ever read any Eckhart Tolle, he talks about this idea of the pain body where we perpetuate negative emotions and can sometimes use this to form an identity, but it's not who we really are. And when this card appears, it can be a reminder to free yourself from that pain body, free yourself from painful attachment, and once more, find your light.